Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to some more Cold Waters. We are tasked with intercepting these fellows right here, carrying Spetsnaz Commandos, and we got them. I have a feeling it's going to be a little shallow here, though. New sonar contact bearing 233, designated CR1. Our depth is 150 feet, 150 feet, speed 10 knots. There's a very strong thermal layer at 89 feet, which should help us out greatly. And uh, we're going to close down to... All right, 10,000 yards. Yeah, that should be sufficient. We have three mark. Oh, we're under the ice. Two, three, three, That's awesome. Sierra, one. We have three Mark 37s loaded and three Mark 16s, as you can see. We're probably not going to need the Mark 16s for this as we are engaging a submarine. Sierra 1. I assume it's operating underneath the layer. Or above the layer, excuse me. Oh, no, under underneath. Let's see what we got. Con maneuvering, making turns for five. Nine. Whiskey. Con sonar, Sierra one is classified it's as very possible. submerged submarine. Let's go ahead and set up our torpedo here. Okay, yeah, it's pretty low. It's at around 300 feet. Let's change course to intercept slightly. Oh, let's wait. Oh, it's going active. I don't like that. Con sonar launch Fuck me. In from Sierra One. That was fast. Okay, all ahead standard. Make turns for con sonar. We are cavitating. Okay, we'll stop that. Con Don't cavitate. Sonar, no longer cavitating. Let's drop down. I think it's just this one single sub, so I'm gonna go active to try to pick up its exact location. Con one sonar, ping only. To active surpassing 200 feet. Uh, looks like that was not very helpful. That's okay. We'll just go down. Passing 300 feet. We'll focus on evading this torpedo. I want to be in a better position to launch my torpedo. I don't want to just launch it now and waste it when I have very little idea of where this whiskey actually is. I think it's... A sure thing that the whiskey has changed course. Passing 400 feet. We'll go down. The Con sea floor sonar, here is very. From Sierra One. Okay, we have a second torpedo in the water. You can see the sea floor uh, varies quite a lot in terms of depth. Passing 500. We'll continue feet. to move down. All right, this should be sufficient. Make my Make speed 15 knots, one, please. Five knots, maneuvering eye. Change course slightly. Get out of the way of this second torpedo. Okay, the torpedo has gone active. It's in a circle pattern, which is not what I want. Oh, okay. Make 20 knots. Make turns for two zero knots, maneuvering. Con sonar launch transit. Another from launch Sierra from the whiskey. One really determined to kill us. I'll head flank. Make turns for three, zero knots, maneuvering eye. Come right to two, nine, zero, helm eye. I think we're safe from this torpedo. We're too deep for it to pick us up. I am worried about this one though. On helm, steady course. So it goes active. It looks like it has. Is it going to adopt a circle? Con pattern? No, it is contact. zigzagging through the Sierra, water. One. Last bearing. Two. Two. And we have one. a third torpedo. Contact I suspect baited. it's over here as well. Yep, it sure is. Okay. Oh, they almost hit each other. That would have been cool. <laughs> How awesome would that have been? They blew each other up. Alright, looks like we successfully evaded two of them. Torpedo number three is worrisome. Yeah, they completely guessed the wrong depth for my boat. Like, I mean, just speeding away down there at 30 knots. This torpedo is adopting a circle search pattern as well. Okay, that's fine. Con maneuvering, making turns for three, zero knots. Okay. 
That, that went all right. Not as poor as I would expect. Once we're away from this torpedo, I bet I'll turn back. Oh, southwest towards the whiskey. Let's see, let's see where its ping line is. Okay, it's around this area. Somewhere down that bearing. It is cool fighting beneath the ice, though. I wish we did it more often. Okay, I think we're far enough away. Come left two, two, three, two, helm I. Con, helm, steady course. And this whiskey class submarine's dropping off Spetsnaz Commando, so it's probably going to fight with everything it has. We're very lucky we did not get one of these torpedoes sicked onto us. We'll use some time compression for the time being. All right, slow down five knots, rig Make for ultra sure quiet. quiet. Try to pick this thing up on passive. It's over here somewhere. Let's make my heading 180. Come left to 180, helm I. Oh, we Con, got her helm, really close. 1,000 yards away. Thereabouts. Moving away. We're in our baffles. Oh, beautiful. Five knots. Okay, change course. Oh, she is pretty far away. Heading 116. I'm going to wait till we have a decent solution on the whiskey before I speed up. Uh, she's turning around. Still in her... Okay, we're not in her baffles anymore. I'm going to keep trying to maneuver to get back into him. Fuck me. From Sierra. One. I'll head full. Turns for two, zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Hmm. What's her speed? Speed is five knots. Okay, we're gonna fire. Shoot two four. Aye, sir. There we go. Torpedo away. Con maneuvering. Making turns for two zero. Con sonar. Launch transient from Sierra one. Con sonar. Launch transient oh, from wow. Sierra one. All ahead flank. Make turns for three. Let's turn zero, around. Not Actually, no, let's keep on this heading. Yeah, I figured that wire would break, and that's what I was worried about. Let's head south. 180, please. Come right to 181. Helm I. Launched a pretty fat spread. The whiskey speed is Con, around helm, eight knots still. May have just wasted that Mark 37 there. Wow, they keep think. What is wrong with them? They keep sh sending their torpedoes up towards the ice. Not even close, pal. About 500 feet deeper. Okay. This is our chance now. Once this torpedo goes active, I'll turn east. Try to get behind her. Let's begin reloading. Not worried about being quiet. We're going 30 knots anyway. Okay, now's the time to change Helm course. Two, We're in our zero, baffles. Seven, one. Helm I. Con maneuvering, making turns for three zero knots. Okay, we're still in our baffles, so Con, we're going to keep heading flank course. until we get close enough to launch a Mark 37. Can also wait till uh, this Mark Thirty. Con, torpedo room, tube four ready. This Mark Thirty Seven here goes active, but all right, this is working well. She completely lost me as I'm in her baffles. Let's come up to two hundred feet. Actually, no. Let's stay down here. Never mind. Make depth six. Hey, our other Mark Thirty Seven has gone active. I don't think it's going to pick the whiskey up, however. There she is. Come left to zero nine zero helm I. Oh, we'll see. Helm, steady course. 
I'm debating laying and waiting to see what this Mark 37 does, but could also just take it out now. Hmm. I don't think this Mark 37 will acquire it, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna launch another one. Get nice and close. All right, drop speed. Oh, wrong way. Come up to 200 feet. Make my speed Make five knots. Four, five, we nine, lost her. Maneuvering eye. How the hell did we lose her? Con, sonar reports ice ahead. Mm-hmm. It's ice everywhere. Thank you, sonar operator. Sonar, switching to active search. Where is she? I could Con just sonar regained contact on Sierra one bearing zero nine six. Con sonar torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing three <laughs> two. Nine. It found us, of course it did. Okay. Con fire control weapon acquired. Okay. All ahead, flank. Make turn, con sonar. We are cavitating. Wire broke. Passing 400 feet. Well, we can just outrun our torpedo in a straight fight, so. Passing 500 feet. knuckle Con going. Sonar, no longer cavitating. Con, fire passing there we 600 go. feet. All right. That did not go to plan. Come on, little guy. Got him. Oh, those torpedoes way out there are exploding now. Con, knuckle formed. There we go. Hopefully that torpedo will reacquire our whiskey friend. This one certainly has. All that. Con, sonar, lost contact. Come on. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero, one. Two. Contact is in the baffles. And any minute now. Con, so Got him. Lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero, one, eight. Contact breaking up. And uh, for some reason, this torpedo is still following me. I love how it wasn't picking up the whiskey, but it picked Con, up me. Knuckle formed. Come left to one, one, eight. All right, we're going to just get out of here. Like I said, we can outrun this torpedo. Its top speed is 26 knots, ours is 30. We'll just run away till it explodes and get on out of here. We do have ice ahead. Oh, it lost us. All right, let's maneuver out of the way of this ice. That is mission accomplished. Although that ending did not go to plan. That was kind of embarrassing, but you know, it is what it Come is. On. Torpedo room, tube four ready. I'm just surprised that torpedo picked me up, but not the submarine that was just a few hundred yards in front of me. Whatever. Still weapons nearby. Let's keep on going. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there wasn't more than one whiskey. I'm sure if there was another sub, it would have fired at us. We're going flank speed for the majority of this one. What's our stores though? 10 Mark 16s left and uh, 5 Mark 37s. I would hate to get sunk in a submarine uh, underneath all this ice. Okay, let's leave combat. One whiskey submarine and it was sunk. Excellent performance locating and eliminating enemy submarines transporting Spetsnaz commandos. Well, thank you. Red sub sunk. We've read this a million times. We'll continue on. Intelligence indicates that numerous enemy diesel electric subs operating in a wolf pack are heading up or towards the North Sea. It is vital that these subs be destroyed before they attack NATO shipping and naval task forces in the area. 
We believe this force includes one or more cruise missile submarines with escorts. Yikes. You are therefore ordered to find and destroy any submarines in this area. Okay. So they are heading for the North Sea. Got it. Status report. We're going to just load all of our Mark 37s. We only have five Mark 37s. And seeing as how most subs need two, that is going to be interesting. Continue on course. We're going to head towards the North Sea. I wonder if I can head back to Holly Lock and try to rearm. Or I'll head towards the Denmark Strait. Pretty much just patrol the GI UK gap here. I'm going to head down towards Holly Lock. Hopefully uh, this wolf pack will be picked up by a satellite or spy plane. One of these various uh, patrol aircraft we have flying about. I think we have time to do it. Okay. Continue. Rearm. How long is this? Six hours. Yikes. Seven hours. Okay. Cast off. There they are. Just uh, by Narvik. I think that's our target. We'll lay low here. Oh, but they're in the North Sea. What am I doing? We'll head down in here. Oh, okay. I think I was at cruise. Damn it. 20 knots. That's bad. Status report. Let's get Mark 37's loaded. We're going to close. 15,000 yards. Depth is 600 feet. They're going 20 knots. I'll just, there's a very strong thermal layer as well. Okay. We're going to have to rig for ultra quiet almost immediately. It's close. Don, sonar lost ultra, quiet. ultra quiet. Oh my gosh. Look how shallow it is. Ugh. I don't like that. Thought there was a thermal layer. One zero two degrees. Come right to one zero two helm. I will head that way. We're at ultra quiet speeds five knots. Okay, not a whole lot of flow noise. Oh, hopefully they did not pick me up uh, rushing in here at. 20 knots like a madman. Con helm, steady course. Nada. Okay. Don't like that. Let's come up to periscope depth. Make depth four, five, oh, eight, oh. Nine, five. Oh, wow. CR2 is right here. Okay, drop speed two knots, please. Make turns for two. I think there is a layer, but it's just not showing up on the graphic. Here, let's see what this is. Golf, no, Foxtrot. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. Okay, go back down Make to 150 one, feet. Five, zero feet dive by. Try to figure out what this other sub is. CR1 way out here. Con sonar. C Con maneuvering. Making turns for two knots. It's cavitating. It <clears throat> Con oh, excuse sonar, me. And it can contact. hear me. Sierra two. Yeah, there Make definitely is a layer. One knots. Maneuvering eye. Con maneuvering. Making turns for one knots. Okay. Come back up to periscope then. 50 Make feet. Depth five, zero feet, dive by. Con sonar regained contact on. Con dive at Fox five, trot's coming at me. Feet, dive by. No idea what its speed is though. It can hear me though. That's not fun. Let's turn slightly. Make 
depth one zero zero feet. Dive by. Con dive at one zero zero. Oh, feet, she's turning. By. Oh, she can't hear me. Negative. Perfect. Come on, baffles. What's her speed? Eight knots. Bump my speed up to five. Try to maneuver into a baffle, and we lost her. Wow. Not maneuvering eye. I don't want to waste a torpedo since we have a limited supply of Mark 37s. Okay, drop back down to one knot. Make turns for one knot. Maneuvering eye. Come up to 50 feet. Okay, picked her up again. We have not reestablished contact with Sierra 1, which is a little bit concerning. We're in our baffles. Well, in this Fox Trust baffles anyway. Perfect. We don't know exactly where she is, but I think I may just fire now. I don't think she's that far away. Okay. Shoot two one. Two Aye, one sir. away. I'll let that torpedo run for a little bit before I uh, have it go active. Okay. And uh, you know what? Turn off active sonar. Have it run towards the target. I don't think the Foxtrot knows it's here yet. Still in its baffles. Con sonar. Okay, we have a launch. From Sierra two. Two Con launch. Sonar. Three. Wow. Launch in from Sierra two. Con sonar, noisemaker, okay. bearing. Go one, active. Seven, four. We got to get out of the way. Bump my speed up to five knots. Drop down to Eight, 200, four, 200 five, feet, please. Floor is at 222 feet, so we'll be. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, weapon has acquired. Perfect. I think my best bet is going in between the gap of these two. Hi, oh God, I'm. This is not a good situation. Turn around. Right two, two, four, two. Helm I. Secure from ultra quiet. Make turns four. Make turns four. Seven knots. Okay, we got the fox trot. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing one. I think. Eight, zero. Oh yeah. Con, Hopefully control, this will be enough fire. to sink her. Outright, please. Got her. Lost contact. Sierra two. Last bearing one eight. Con, less than fifty feet. Okay, level out here. Don't get too wild. God damn it. This is not good. Hmm. I don't want to cavitate since there's other submarines in the area. We're just going to hope they don't pick us up and try to go right down the Come middle. Left two, one, seven, five. Helm mm, don't like that. <laughs> I am not liking this. All right. Time to cross your fingers, folks. I think they will just go Come right on, on by. Helm. Steady course. Oh boy, that was awesome. <laughs> Very lucky. Let's begin reloading tube one. We have Sierra one off to the east. Okay, let's drop speed. One knot, please. Make turns for one knot. Maneuvering eye. 
And we're going to try to reestablish contact with Sierra One. Con, torpedo room, tube one ready. Okay. Greg for ultra quiet. For ultra quiet. Come up to periscope eight, depth. depth four, five, eight, die, five. Yeah, we'll just rotate. Change depths. See if we can pick her up. I'm actually going to just check to see if they're on the surface. It's very easy. Nothing. Okay. Just raise the radar mast. Romeo three, way down here. It's probably a surface vessel. Yep. It's a little fishing boat. Lower the ESM mast. Kind of what I suspected. Come left to zero eight two helm. Oh, the hunt is on for CR one. I'll head this way and try to track her down. Con helm steady course. I could go active, but I have a feeling that's kind of a death sentence right now. Especially, I mean, we've only picked up two submarines. The uh, mission briefing made it seem like there were quite a few in this wolf pack. Although it could only be two. Alright, let's increase speed to five knots. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Let's drop down to 150 Make feet. One, five, zero feet. Die, bye. And we'll go ten knots. Make turns for We're gonna try one, to track her down. Zero. This may take a while and I may not even find her, so I'll probably cut now and get back to you folks when I've established contact with Sierra 1 or something else. Okay, we got her. Sierra 1 is hanging out by Sierra 2 now. Signature, let's try to pick this thing out. Oh wow, it's close. It's very close. Rick for ultra quiet. quiet. It's obviously a sub. Juliet. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Possibly. I'm gonna go with Juliet for the time being. I think that may be correct. According to this, the Juliet can hear me on passive. Let's drop speed. One knot, please. Make turns for one knot. Maneuvering eye. Okay, she can't hear me on passive, but if she goes active, she's got us. Let's get tubes Not one and two ready. Making turns for one there she knot. is. Let's begin a turn. I try to maneuver into her baffles. She can hear us on active and passive now. Nice and easy. Her speed is eight knots. Slowly but surely swinging around. Okay, we got this. I think this is the only other submarine in the area. There we go. Shukan sonar. Oh, wow. Wind maker bearing zero nine eight. I'm surprised you heard that right off the bat. Okay, let's have the torpedoes run towards target. Make my speed five knots. Make turns for four knots. Maneuvering eye. I don't think they'd really, I don't know. I feel like they shouldn't really be able to hear these torpedoes as well because they just swim out the tubes. They aren't launched out with compressed air. As far as I know, the Mark 37s are swim out torpedoes. Pretty sure that is correct. Con sonar, Sierra one is classified as capital ship 
Oh, no. <laughs> Con sonar, Sierra 1. I, I did not mean to do that. Submarine. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing 085. And it's running towards Con, fire target. Con sonar, noise maker, Unfortunately, zero, I don't six, think our nine. other Mark 37s Con, are really control, going to acquire. acquire the target. We'll see if one's enough to sink her. Hit it right in the command room. Go. It's a hit. She's blowing ballast. Let's begin reloading Mark 16s. Is she on the surface? She is. Con maneuvering, making turns for make depth four. Periscope depth. Dive eye. Make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering eye. I think we may be too close Bad back. Emergency. Maneuvering eye. Oh, our, our, maneuvering, making turns for it's loaded. Five knots. All right, Mark 16, fire. Two, one, I sir. There it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't run under the target. And it ran under the target. Wow, that sucks. Uh, that actually sucks. <laughs> that was going to be awesome. Okay. Well, it looks like we have to use another Mark 37. So be it. Two, three, on. Fire control. Weapon acquired. Yeah, she's done for now. That Mark 16 hitting it would have been great, but Con there we go. Contact Sierra one. Last bearing three four three. Contact breaking up. Let's go. Let's start moving forward. Make turns for five knots. Turn on active sonar. Make sure there's nothing else in the Call area. Torpedo room two two ready. Gosh, lame. Making turns for five knots. Come right to one. Wasted two torpedoes, but better than dying, I suppose. Well, that was fun. We had a lot of uh, anti-submarine action in this episode. Con, helm, steady course. Opposed to the beginning of the series where we're mostly fighting uh, surface ships. It's a nice uh, nice change of pace, I gotta say. Oh, we're still using active sonar. There's not diddly squat we're picking up, so we're gonna leave combat and let's see if there were any other submarines in the area. No, there wasn't, surprisingly. Just the Juliet and the Foxtrot. Fine work dealing with those boats, Commander. Your contribution to the war effort will make transit for our convoys a lot safer. And supporting the troops on land, that's what the Navy's all about. Keep it up, Commander. Stand by for additional orders. NATO convoys protected. There we go. Continue. Okay, uh, enemy at sea replenishment tankers and tenders. A small force, including one or two of these ships, is expected to sail from Romansk momentarily for a rendezvous near the Greenland Sea. You are ordered to sink this group before it completes replenishment of enemy forces. You, will also, you may also get a chance at enemy submarines the group is intended to support, but tankers and tenders are mission target. Exo status report. Let's load some Mark 16s in and continue on course. Well, I got to say, that is going to end this episode. Uh, like I said, it was quite fun to actually fight some submarines. It's currently February 7th, 1969, so we've been at war for quite a while now. The series has been going on a while, but... Looks like we finally hit a stride of uh, successful missions, so I'm quite happy with that. And we were not relieved of command, which is also good. Anyway, uh, in the next episode, as you know, we will be sinking some tankers and tenders and who knows what else, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. As always, this is Wolfpack345 signing off. I'll see you all on the next one.